Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional just for you. Today is Wise Wednesday, November the 8th, 2023. Our devotion is found in Proverbs chapter 8, verses 6 through 8. The mouth of wisdom. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and the wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. One of the oldest delegates the United States Constitutional Convention Philadelphia had was a man by the name of Roger Sherman from Connecticut. In addition to his long and successful career as a lawyer and politician, he was for many years a professor of religion at Yale, teaching many of the early leaders of the United States. Sherman was widely respected by his colleagues and as a result had great influence among them. Thomas Jefferson said of him, that is Mr. Sherman of Connecticut, a man who never said a foolish thing in his life. For a period of time, the convention appeared to be hopelessly deadlocked as the representatives of the different states could not agree on representation as a new nation. Sherman was one of the main designers of the plan known as a Great Compromise that set up the Senate where every state had the same number of representatives and the House where the larger states would have more representatives based on the population. Because of his reputation for integrity and wisdom, Sherman was able to get his plan passed and a new government was formed. Those who spend time with us quickly develop an assessment of the honesty and wisdom of our words or lack thereof. It is, as the old saying goes, impossible to fool all the people all the time. Our words reveal what we truly value and the condition of our heart. A heart filled with wisdom will not result in a mouth filled with harmful or foolish words. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today that your word is wisdom and uh, we can learn wisdom and learn to not speak foolish words. Help us to do that today to bring honor and glory to your name. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Today's word to the wise is our words have great power and we should take care to ensure that what we say is filled with wisdom and truth. Say it with me, the Renew verse for today. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have a great wise Wednesday, everyone.